I know there'll be people listening to this who'll judge me, but I just say, walk a mile in my shoes. slept with one person when I got HIV. I know people will hear that and think it's a sob story, but it's the truth. When I was first diagnosed, I started to research stuff online and I watched some films where people had HIV and it really scared me. It showed people getting really sick and their skin started to get bad and it showed people dying. I thought, is this what's going to happen to me? At the start, I had all the stereotypes and stigmas in my head that you could think of and I just thought, This can't be happening to her, and how unfair it was to be happening to someone her age, to someone who wasn't promiscuous. But I know now it doesn't matter if you're promiscuous or not. It only takes one time, and the rest of your life can be changed forever. After my diagnosis, I went on medication that brought my HIV blood count really low, to the point where it was undetectable, and I got pregnant. During my pregnancy, I was on three different types of tablets to make sure my baby wouldn't get HIV. I have a wee boy now, and the medication worked. Yes, I have HIV, but it isn't going to stop me being there for my son. I still have a roof over my head. I have family support. I think it's important to be positive, but that doesn't mean being dismissive about it either. And you also have to talk about it and how you avoid getting to that stage. To me, that's where the sexual health education comes into it. HIV is still such a taboo subject. My daughter's story shows it's possible for a young girl in her prime to get HIV. I can't change the past, but what I would say to anyone, if you're having sex with someone, whether it's your first time or not, just be safe. And you should ask that person, have you ever been tested? Have you ever been checked out? It's a simple question, and I think in school you should be taught about the importance of getting tested. I have to live with the fact that I'm HIV positive. That means I'm on tablets for the rest of my life, and I have to get my blood checked on a regular basis. But I won't let it ruin my life.